This demonstration shows how to check control of the speed governor using the DSC 5510 controller. Navigate your way to the governor and AVR settings in the recalibrate section. Click the right button to scroll the pages. Start the engine and change SW1 to check that the engine speed changes. If the engine speed does not change, you should stop now and investigate this issue. Don't worry if the speed decreases when SW1 is increased. This procedure checks that we are able to change the engine speed. As you change the setting, wait a second for the new value to be written to the controller and for the engine speed to change. Fine-tune the setting to make the engine run at the correct speed. When you're done, return to the Config Manager page. We've just checked that we have control over the speed. We now need to check the range of this control. Read the configuration from the controller. Navigate to the Generator Frequency Settings page as shown. Change the nominal frequency of the system. Increase it by 2.5 Hz. Now return to the Config Manager page to write the configuration to the controller, instructing the set to run at the new frequency. Use the Scarter Mimic page to start the engine by placing the module into manual mode and pressing the start button. When the generator becomes available, click the transfer button to close the breaker. Check that the engine speed rises to the new setting. If it doesn't rise far enough, increase SW2 for the governor a little and check again. If the engine speed falls instead of rising, you need to select Governor Output Reversed in the module's configuration. Now visit the status page to check that the Governor Drive is around 80%. Change SW2 for the Governor to fine trim this percentage if necessary. Go back to the Mimic page to stop the engine. Mm -hmm. Now we've tested that the frequency can be increased, we need to check we can decrease it successfully also. Lower the frequency 2.5 Hz below the nominal frequency. We're checking the range of movement we have over the engine speed. Remember to go back to the Config Manager page to write the change back to the controller. Visit the Scarter Mimic page to start the engine in manual mode and close the breaker once the set becomes available. Check that the generator lowers in speed to the new setting and use the Scarter status display to check the governor drive.
If necessary, trim SW2 for the governor setting to bring the governor drive to around 80%. Use the mimic page to stop the set. Remember to return the nominal frequency back to the correct setting by changing the setting on the generator frequency alarms page. And use the config manager page to write this to the controller to finish the test. You should now address the AVR control. The procedure is the same as that already described for the governor. When checking the range, change the nominal voltage up and down by 10% to test the range is sufficient for voltage matching and VAR sharing.